In this video, I'll show you how to make a reversed reverb effect. These kinds of effects are great for adding atmosphere in your track. You can use any sound for this, just make sure there's a relatively long reverb on it. I like to use pads for this. If this is your first time here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to make sure you don't miss anything. Route it to a mixer track. Make a chord or whatever you like. Insert the pattern into the playlist. Make sure to drag it out or make a selection that's long enough to include the entire reverb tail. Now we're going to bounce this to audio. Open the mixer and click here. This will arm it for recording. Then, click on the upper left corner and select Disk Recording, and then Render to WAV File. The rendered audio will appear in the playlist. Double-click on it to bring up the sampler. We're now going to reverse it. To do that, just click here. Move the original clip and align them like this. The sound will now fade into itself. This will create a nice atmosphere. This technique is often used on vocals as well. If you like this video, then feel free to hit that like button. And if you really liked it, you can head over to my Patreon page and support my work there. You can find the link in the description below. I hope this was helpful. Hey, what kind of tutorial would you like me to make next? Also, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer them for you.